Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we've got a great freezer meal for you. We're gonna be making the panini sandwich. The panini sandwich is incredible. It's easy to make. You can just about throw whatever you want in it. It's fast, it's delicious, it freezes great, but most of all, it reheats great. You're never even gonna know that it was a freezer meal. And we've made the panini sandwich a lot of different ways for our business, including this way right here, which is just standing in front of a stove, one at a time with a cast iron grill and a cast iron skillet just pressing the sandwich down. And this way works, but it's not very efficient. You have to really manage the temperature. Uh, you can burn the sandwich pretty easy if you're not careful, and you can only do one at a time. So we were looking for a way to sort of streamline panini day because we don't make four or five paninis. We usually make 100, 150 paninis, uh, different flavors. And so we wanted to get something to make it a little faster. And I came across this panini press from iCusina. And I had to mention it because truth be told, this little machine is the superstar in today's episode. I love this thing. It's a grill, it's a griddle, it heats on both sides. It opens up to create two cooking surfaces and you can use it like I did to make hamburgers uh, and toast the buns, or you can make a full blown breakfast. It's a super easy machine to operate. You just click the on button, you select whether you want to use the grill or the griddle, uh, once you select that by pressing the button, you select a temperature and you're in business. This is a great countertop cooker and, and sure, you can cook all sorts of things on it. It's got lots of cool functions and uh, you know what? I think we'll do a full-blown review in an upcoming video. We like this machine because we were able to streamline our panini day and make about 134 paninis uh, in record time. And you'll see this press in action towards the end of this video. But for now, let's talk about the panini sandwich. Our particular recipe has four basic components. You've got the bread, you've got the garlic spread, you've got the cheese, and then you've got the filling. The bread, we like to make ourselves. And I'm not gonna go into a whole video about how we make the bread. Maybe we'll do that later because that also freezes great. But you could use whatever bread you want. Normally it's made with some sort of an Italian bread. The garlic spread is roasted garlic and olive oil that we use to spread on the top and the bottom of the sandwich. And that's just gonna give it a little more flavor, allow it to crisp up when we toast it. The cheese is gonna hold everything together. And the filling, well, that's what brings it all home. And you could put anything you want in your panini. Broccoli chicken cheese, sauteed shiitake mushrooms and kale. We do a rotisserie chicken and mozzarella cheese. You could do an Italian inspired panini, which is pepperoni, salami, smoked ham, and pastrami. That would be really tasty. Uh, but today, for this video, we're gonna be making a rotisserie chicken uh, panini with mozzarella cheese and a roasted garlic topping. Let me show you how we're gonna do it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is make some fresh bread. Now, I don't wanna use this bread the day it's baked. It's gonna be too soft. So once it's baked, we're gonna leave it on the counter for one day and then we can go ahead and use it. And if you'd like to see a video on how to make some really good freezer-friendly loaf bread, leave me a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section. After a day, we're gonna slice our bread into roughly three-quarter inch slices and set that to the side. For the garlic spread, we're just gonna cut the tops off the heads of garlic and place that into a baking pan. I'm actually using a bread pan. Generously pour olive oil all over those heads of garlic, about three-quarters of the way up and place that into an oven at 425 degrees. Roast that until they are nice and soft, then remove the cloves and place all the oil and the cloves inside of your blender and blend into a smooth paste, adding a little extra oil if necessary. We're going to use a culinary brush to in essence coat the top and the bottom of our paninis. As far as the cheese goes, we're using mozzarella cheese. Feel free to use whatever cheese you like. And then of course, we've got our rotisserie chicken, deboned and ready to go. To assemble our panini, we're gonna start by applying a nice even coating of that beautiful roasted garlic spread to two slices of our bread. Remember the side with the garlic spread on is gonna be the outside of your sandwich. So flip that sandwich bread over and on the uncoated side, begin by adding your cheese, your filling, whatever you happen to be using, and then finally more cheese. Top with the other half of the bread, ensuring that the garlic spread is visible on both top and bottom. This is what your panini should look like just before cooking. And now it's time to toast them in our panini press. I've got it set to 400 degrees. Notice we're able to do two at a time. And because this press heats on the top and the bottom, your entire panini is being toasted at one time. 
And like I said, if you have any quantity of paninis that you're doing, this makes the job a breeze. Our paninis have now cooled. We're just gonna place them in our freezer-friendly bags and vacuum seal them. And that's it. And now it's time to pull one out of the freezer. This has been in there for about six weeks so that you can see what it looks like when we take it out of the freezer and heat it up. The real beauty of this particular recipe is that roasted garlic olive oil spread that's on the top and the bottom. Upon reheat, that garlic and olive oil spread is gonna crisp that sandwich up, making it seem as if it was just made. So I am going to heat a little uh, air fryer up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna set this to run for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're gonna take it out and give it a taste. I love the panini. It's fast, it's easy, it's crispy, it's cheesy. You can make whatever flavor you like, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like more information on the iCucino panini press that we used in this video, check out the description box below. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're new to our channel, we'd like to say welcome. We invite you to subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified of each one of our uploads. We'll see you next time.